Well, uh, before that, I make my closing. I would like to thank Mark Tenendi for the beautiful picture that I imagine that will come out. He's, he's running around us from this morning, and I really appreciate uh, what you are doing. Thank you very much. And thank you for everyone come here today. Uh, with the snow, with the weather, with confusing all the location and all the beautiful thing. Uh, I go to all of you, thank you very much. The power goes to my dear fighter for human rights, starting with Ken without making a mistake, Pamela, Robert, and Ali, without forgetting Sarah, and without forgetting Bernice, I don't know where she comes. Anyway, uh, one thing important that I would like to emphasize is before that we close here. We are not really two million people sitting in this room, and this is, doesn't bother me at all because we're looking for the quality, not for the quantity. That's number one. Number two, I would like that all of us leaving this room think about every one of this professor said concerning human rights. Because once we are out of this place, we start to forget about what we said here. We start to see the snow and we start to see the, the beautiful United States freedom that I wish that we, between us, we could fight and keep this freedom because someone else is trying to take it away from us. Uh, it's hard for me, believe me, to talk about that because when you read, I was talking with a lady here that she left before I said, I admire Robert and Pamela and all of you guys here because not living in the area that these people are suffering and you have the sensitivity to fight for freedom of religion and freedom of human rights. It is different than me because I know what's going on, I read, I read the language and I could feel what's, what's happening there. And sitting here with, with this magnificent people make me feel really proud that I am in this country and make me feel that really this country is built over freedom of, of the right of every being. But don't forget when you look out that there are people out in Egypt, in Pakistan, in Afghanistan, in Sudan. Without forgetting the people in Israel, because yes, Israel has an army that could defend itself, but why? Why? Why is the fight starting? And we need to think about it, that the fight for whatever call it for Palestine, it is a fake fight. And let me tell you one thing that happened to me when I was a little kid. I was studying in Rome University and uh, I had kind of relationship with the embassy and the ambassador liked me for some reason, he doesn't have kids. And he used to invite me to eat at his home, right, in the embassy side. And one day I, I was sitting there, I was maybe 20, maybe 19, 21, something like that. And I told him, Excellency, I have a question for you. So what? I say, say by chance that Israel tomorrow going to change the name of Israel and we call it the Republic Muslim of, of Jews. Are we going to fight with them? He never answered me. He never invited me anymore in the house. <laughs> 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 so, I mean, it is all fake story. And it is all just supremacies that a lot of us think that it is 1,400 years ago and it is not really Today, it is today. I don't have, I mean, I agree with, uh, I think Robert said before, I don't really care if they 
Prophet Muhammad said, either I believe in, in a stone or they believe in a bottle of water. Everybody has the right to believe in whatever he wants to, to believe. The important thing that I don't accept is that somebody come to my home with, with a pistol or with a gun and tell me that I have to change my religion. Or I have to follow another religion. It's my problem. If I want to believe in God, I believe in God. If I want not to believe in God, it's my problem. So, I thank everyone come here. And I am, I am really honored with your presence, with your teaching, because I am following both of you guys, both of you all. Um, at least, you know, they have the right, they right, have the right English word for me now. And so I could, I could help him in Arabic and they teach me in English. So we can, we can really make a good, a wonderful combination here. I count in your, in your head, we need you. All the cops need you. And not only the cops. The Christian out around there in the world that is suffering from supremacy. We need to take advantage of this day of human rights. We don't have a problem with Muslims as Muslims, I don't think. Because I believe that they don't understand what's going on. And I could say it's the same thing for me. I was born a Christian. If somebody comes to tell me that anything about my Christianity, I will not accept it because my father, my grandfather, my grand-grandfather. So the problem is they need to understand that 1,400 years of sword coming in and screaming, Allahu Akbar is over. We are not going to accept it anymore. Because I believe that living in the 21st century, the first thing that we have to think about it is our freedom for us, for our kids, and for our grandkids. Thank you very much for coming here. And now I think it's time to questions and Thank you, Bernice, for everything that you did for us.